Hi, Kevin Wright back again with another property finance tip. What's the subject this week? Well, it's short term letting, often known as serviced accommodation or holiday lets, uh, sometimes called Airbnb. Now, why is this important? Because I'm going to explain why it is dangerous to use standard buy to let mortgages for this type of letting. So if you're into SA or holly lets, then stick around. Short term letting, it's got a lot more popular in recent years, hasn't it? You know, there's now courses on it where a few years ago you wouldn't have seen a course on uh, short term letting, but you know, with the rise of Airbnb and Booking.com and all these other places, uh, the opportunity to offer someone a home from home rather than a hotel room uh, as mushroomed, uh, you know, an Airbnb in particular has, uh, has grown out of all proportion. So what challenges does this represent uh, mortgage wise, lending wise, if you want to get into uh, short-term letting well uh, and I said it's dangerous to use uh, buy to let mortgages now you could get yourself into very deep trouble and potentially lose the property that you've bought and put your deposit down on if you get this wrong so make sure you understand what I'm saying uh, in the rest of this video so if it's a problem to use buy to let mortgages for short-term letting. What is it about buy-to-let mortgages that makes it a problem? Let me explain. Buried down in the terms and conditions of pretty much every standard buy-to-let mortgage lenders contract is a particular clause. And this clause represents and dictates the minimum and maximum letting terms that they allow. Uh, you'll be aware that normal letting is on ASTs, Assured Shorthold Tenancies. And every tenant that lives in a property uh, is going to have one of those. This is the, and you'll be aware that they're usually for six or 12 months. And here's the issue, because that little terms and conditions clause that you might never have seen in a buy to let mortgage, because I mean, you know, who, who, who reads the small print? Uh, but what it says is the minimum rental term allowed with this mortgage is six months and the maximum rental term allowed with this mortgage is 12 months. So mortgage lenders, standard buy to let mortgage lenders are very clear, very precise. They do not permit rental terms of less than six months. Now, of course, uh, if you're doing short term letting, that's exactly what you are doing. You know, a holiday let is typically seven days, could be smaller, but seven days, 14 days, this type of thing. And um, uh, service accommodation, Airbnb and the like, could even be a single night, just like a hotel, because you're going up against hotels. It's the whole idea of short term letting or service accommodation, certainly is that you're providing an alternative to a hotel room that people will find more pleasurable. You cannot rent out on a short term basis and still keep it within the terms and conditions of your buy to let mortgage. And you may be asking, does it matter? So what? Um, they probably won't find out. It does matter and they could find out. And if they find out, you're in trouble. Let me explain. Mortgage lenders get pretty annoyed when people breach their terms and conditions. A bit like um, one of the, another terms and conditions says you can't live in a buy to let mortgage property. And if you do, they get really annoyed. So if they breach, if they discover you breaching terms and conditions, and um, how might they do that, you could ask. Well, if you're advertising your short term let anywhere on any website, they could potentially pick it up from there. What happens when a lender discovers 
you're breaching the terms and conditions. They send you what's called a cease and desist letter. So this is a letter um, sent to you, the borrower, to say, stop doing what you're doing. Please revert back to the conditions of your mortgage, terms and conditions of your mortgage. In other words, in this particular case, stop renting out on a short-term basis, go back to a standard AST that you're meant to be doing with this mortgage. Now, if you get one of these cease and desist letters, ignore it at your peril. The next thing you'll get if you don't comply with that is a letter calling in the mortgage. What does calling in the mortgage means? They give you typically 90 days to repay all the money back to them. In other words, you've got to refinance the property with a different mortgage lender, or if you can't do that, you've got to sell the property and you'll get 90 days uh, typically to do it. In. So the clear message is if you're going to do short term letting in any of its variations, then make sure you've got the right mortgage for that. And check out my other video where I detail what the right type of mortgage is. So check that one out. That's my tip for this week. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you find it useful. And hey, don't jump off quite yet. I've got something else to show you. But before we show you that, have you subscribed? Have you clicked that clicky thing and ding that belly thing there that uh, will make sure you don't miss any of my videos because I bring one out every week. So stick around for what else I've got to show you and I'll catch you another time. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, hey, I've got an Instagram channel too. It's some really interesting content on there and it's all short, snappy stuff. So it's at Kevin Wright Property. Check out the link here. Go find me on Instagram.